this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Well, a Minecraft Story Mode Let's Play video. Uh, this is episode number 11 of the total series. Uh, episode number 3 of episode number 3. <laughs> this is really confusing, isn't it? So many numbers. Uh, anyway, things are weird. If you didn't see the last episode, go and watch it, because it is very strange. We've basically, we've gone to the end, and we found a big area where, uh, we think it's Sorin, uh, built a big, like, it's basically trying to build, like, the overworld, like, the ground and trees and the sun, but all out of, like, wool and glowstone. Then we found a secret doorway, and we got led to here. I listened to a recording where he said about, um, him, like, training Enderman to build, and then behind this, like, window here there's a bunch of endermen and he talked about dressing up in an enderman suit and there's a chest i can look in and a ladder i can go in a suit i can put on a door i can go through and records i can listen to Whew, there's a there's a lot going on right now <laughs> let's listen to some of these records first then shall we before we uh, dive in not knowing all of the uh, the facts uh, let's try and find out a little bit more information uh, about what's going on they all seem to be purple records Totemic as well. constructions of peaceful Endermen. Mm. Yeah, look, he seems to be trying to make the Endermen peaceful. Like people. Could well, Endermen some people. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that Found only something. Endermen at peace build What you got? Structures. It's definitely when some sort of crafting recipe. They don't seem to have Why would someone who's blowing a Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? With their fists. Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Hmm. Okay, so I got the, the blueprints. I need to remember that. I'm kind of half listening to the, the records in the, the background as well as I go around. Detailed observation. I am so, so lonely. Oh, he's all lonely. Right, let's go and play uh, another one. And while that's playing, let's go and carry on exploring. So I'll stay quiet uh, so we can listen to it in the, the, the background. And uh, I'm going to go and look up the uh, up the ladder. So this is about pumpkins, because if you put a pumpkin on the your head, well, the Endermans can't see you. Stop the Enderman from attacking me. But I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior. As if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore... I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures. And, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, my entire cache of pumpkins... Those is instructions now called for clay blocks, just like this pies. one. Okay, so it's clay blocks I needed. So in the, uh, the recording, if you didn't hear it, he's basically saying that uh, even though he had a pumpkin on his head, they didn't attack him, but they were still aware he was there. So that's why he made the uh, the costume. It's but it looks like you can't see me through this glass. Ah, I need to build the clay on that platform. And did you spot something else? Then oh, it won't let me look through again. But if you look, I saw one of the Endermen with a, a kind of human-looking face behind it, <laughs> like one was wearing a mask. If you go, so you might be able to see out the window now. Like when I climb down, see if we can see out the window at all. Oh, is it going to show us? No, it's not. So if you rewind the video, if you want to see it again, uh, but I kind of just thought, oh, let's see if we can look out now. Is it going to let me look out the window? See if we can see him. I spotted him last time. Oh, you see him in the background, the bottom left-hand corner. Did you see it? That's him. That's Soren. Right, let's grab all this clay then. It looks like that's what we uh, need to do. And uh, let's have a, another record playing in the uh, the background uh, while I go and gather all of the uh, the clay, shall we? And I guess I need to build uh, this shape here uh, once I get out there. Or at least train an Enderman to do so. Anyway, let's go and play uh, this record, shall we? And uh, while I do that, I'll try and gather up the uh, the rest of the uh, the clay blocks uh, that seem to be Calls scattered around the room. The Enderman. Mm, talking about the noises they make, I guess. I've always wondered about that. The weird Enderman noises. <laughs> That's three I've grabbed so far. And finally, an Enderman love song. I'll take this one too. <laughs> it's all just fascinating. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound like an Enderman? Because that didn't sound much like an Enderman to me. Right, here's the uh, the final record that we can uh, listen to. It's quite interesting, actually, to find out about what his plans were. He does sound a little bit crazy, I've doesn't he? I've been watching the Enderman up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. Looks like this is the last block in exciting. here. 
Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I guess it's hard to get plants to grow in the, the end. Three hours. Here's what happened. Hmm, okay, so, and also I can speak to Olivia as well, and there's a big painting that let me look at as well, an apple painting. I'm no art snob, but, meh. <laughs> I wonder if they could add that to the game, so that's not a real painting, because these are all real paintings. Actually, is that a real one? I'm not sure if that's a real painting, but the others are all real, but I don't think the apple is. Looks quite cool, though. Anyway, let's go speak to uh, Olivia, shall we? Hey, Olivia. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looked huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. Yeah, I don't really care about the others right now. Olivia's always been nice. I do like Olivia. I like Olivia and Petra and, of course, Reuben and none of the others, pretty much. I don't know. Eligard was okay. She was a bit rude, though. Anyway, uh, let's go Let's go put the, uh, the suit on and then let's head out there. I got all of the, uh, the clay blocks uh, that were in here, so I guess I need uh, to go out there. And as you can see, Olivia, check it his out. suit An is Enderman missing. suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! This must be the disguise Soren was talking about on the recording. In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Ah, oh, it smells like one, apparently. Woof! I wonder what Endermen smell okay, like. Okay, so... If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. Guess it's time to play dress up. I love the way they're working out what I worked out like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's dress up then and let's head out there. I guess there's only one suit. Uh, so I guess I'm, I guess I'm going alone. Then again, I don't think Enderman attack pigs, so, I don't know, maybe Reuben can go with me. Alright, let me pull my sleeves up. I never thought I'd be pressing right in a video game to pull up sleeves. <laughs> there we go. And there's my cheesy grin. I don't think you want my honest opinion. But, it just might do the trick. What's like the big bit dangling from my chin? Is that supposed to be like the mouth? It's kind of like their mouth. You know when they go angry and they go like like that and like charge at you. <laughs> do you want me to do the sound again? <laughs> you know, you know they do like when you first look at them and their mouths stretch out. It kind of looks like I'm doing that all the time, but it's ruined a bit when I see my little mouth and I can see me blinking as well through the suit. <laughs> right, no more delaying. Let's head out there and hopefully I, a I'm a convincing Enderman. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? I've already spotted him. You can see his mouth. The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. I'll be smart. We uh, just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You can just see him. I've already seen him. You just see his mouth, just like he'll see my just mouth. Just gotta get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Okay, so I guess I had a choice of different ways to do it. I didn't really know what I was choosing, to be fair. I just said be smart, but I guess this is the plan I've gone for. Is this him? Do you reckon that's Soren? Is it Soren? I can't see his mouth. No, I, I, I think it's a real Enderman. I think I've tricked it. Maybe it thinks I'm a baby Enderman because I'm so short. I don't know how I convinced it. I look nothing like an Enderman. I look like a bad Halloween costume. <laughs> right, so I need to do something to get Soren's attention. Um, oh, look, there's an Enderman over there. Let's look at this one. It's, oh, it's one holding a block. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to walk all the way over to it. I just wanted to look at it, but okay. I guess I'm walking to this Enderman. Six blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions. And this guy's got the only block around. I'm probably going to get his hopes up because I'm going to solve the puzzle. And he's going to think one of the Endermen did it, but it was actually me. Well, it was, it was, he was around here somewhere. I can't see him anymore, though. And I probably shouldn't walk too fast. I should probably also learn how to teleport. <laughs> right, so this is the, the grit. So should I place down the, uh, the blocks I already have, I guess? Okay, so I've got to remember the, uh, the pattern. The okay, it's like the simplest pattern ever. It's like a... Kind of like a, an L, I guess, and then and just one at the handle. top. Right, so uh, let's do the uh, one up the, the top here as well. One block down, five to go. 
Oh, are you, you going to say... That Soren's watching wherever he is. Please don't say a little one-liner after every block I press. There we go. I thought he was going to say a little, like, two down, only a few more, like every time I did one. So yeah, I can do most of it, but there's still one block missing, uh, which was the, the block the I've other got. Enderman was, uh, was holding. I find another block. Well, I know I don't need to find it. I know where it is. I just need to get it. It's in the hands of an Enderman, so uh, I'm going to have to persuade him. But it said I, I need to do something to get Soren's attention, but won't get the attention of the other Enderman. So I got, like, a... And my amulet and my sword and stuff. But I guess I need something to use it against. Uh, can I talk to this Enderman? Or oh, says to take it. Let's uh, let's see if it's going to give it to me. I have a feeling this might not end well. There's a chance that this could actually be Sorin. Um, I could set it on fire. No, let's just let's just grab it. Let's just use my hands. And it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to give me the block. This is a bad idea. I should let go now. Uh, oh no, I can I can wriggle. I can, uh, I'll use the, the left stick. Okay, I can just pull it away. Gently. Easy does it. There we go. Did this actually end well? Oh, maybe not. Uh -oh. No, this didn't end well. Oh, no. Okay, I've been a little bit compromised here. They're all getting a little bit antsy. Um, let's, let's go and just place this block down as quickly as we can and get out of it. Oh, no, look, they're all, like, dancing up and down. <laughs> maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. Intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Yeah, I should get out of here, like, okay, pretty quickly. Not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. Oh, that was Soren. Soren just punched me. At least the Enderman didn't get me. Oh, look, he's on stilts. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll bruise. Your face, I mean. These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. Why did you hit me? There were strategic reasons. And a personal one. You are trespassing, after all. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid the... I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formidabom. <laughs> There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. They show their true colors. I won't do that. <laughs> it's only natural. It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have a pig! I have a pig. <laughs> right. I was wondering about that. Hmm. My guess is portable meal? No! It's my pet! He's my friend. My friend! <laughs> of course. <laughs> I used to have those. Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they uh, wanted me. Let's say about, so, uh, Eligard. I'm here without your friends. Eligard is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. She likes him. Does she ever talk about me? She uh, did. Sure. She did talk what about you. What kinds of things do they say? Lovely things. You had a beautiful mustache. Only good things they've missed you. You're the best. Uh, that they've missed you. That you were missed. Really? Maybe it was more missing. You have to read between the lines. Yes, yes you do. But what about you? Are you my friend? Uh, as long as we're on the subject. I could be. Why not? Not to put you on the spot. I suppose. Sure. Uh, that's the best thing I've heard in years. 
Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry, I'm going to help you because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. Yeah, he's mad. He's definitely mad. Like in a nice Harry way. Harry may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly dallies, give her credit she tries. They might look the same to the untrained um, eye. I'll say nothing. But that's I'm enjoying the song. So I say. Wait, is that. Are, are, are you? Soren. Whoa. Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look terrible. <gasps> An element's got in! He's not gonna want us to hurt it though, is he? What's he doing with his arms? <laughs> is that the one I stole the clay block from? Seems a bit odd. Uh, what's I've happening? never been inside before. What's happening? Uh, Soren, what do you recommend? You've upset them. You've altered their behavior. Okay, let's go. He's not going to want us to, to fight them because he's friends with them, is he? We can't just attack them. And also, I don't think we'd win either. So <laughs> that's another reason to not attack them. All right, let's try and get out of here. I'm really worried about Petra. And, and the hits just keep on. Ah, this doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> I wasn't expecting so many house guests. There's no way I have enough seashell soaps for all of them. How are we supposed to get out of here? We need to come up with a plan. And uh, not our usual we'll come up with a hope falls away. Right, let's speak to Soren. To He's supposed to be the genius. He's been studying Endermen for ages. Any bright ideas? One constant about Endermen is that they hate water. If we can force that fountain to overflow somehow. <sighs> Jesse, Brilliant. you still have the Enderman suit. Put that on and you'll be able to safely reach the fountain. I'm already wearing it. What about? Ugh, just when I thought I'd never have to smell this thing again. Oh, the helmet. <laughs> Good luck, dude. We'll um, all watch from here, then. Where it's safe. That was a, that was a really smart idea, actually, because I do hate water. So if I can just make the, the water spread everywhere... They're not going to want to stand around here. Just don't look at them. I know you got the suit on, but they can still get you. Just, just, just look like down at your feet and stumble around. Try not like an envelope. Put, keep your arms straight and your legs straight, like they do. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Re really helping here. <laughs> or is it, how are we going to make the the water overflow then? Is that like just a switch or something? Um, oh, just break it once again. It's Minecraft, isn't it? Just break it. <laughs> Use your fist. Oh, I feel a little bit oh, mean. God, it's clear. That was a clever idea, though. I gotta give Soren some credit. I know he's been studying Enderman for years, so, you know, he should know about this stuff, but. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> looks like we're, uh. Looks like we're doing it again, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna die. There was, in that big open area, there was that huge fountain, wasn't there? With the, uh, the lever on the top of it. Do you reckon that's gonna, like, flood that entire area? Then we could stay there? That would make sense, wouldn't it? But sadly, I'm afraid uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in uh, this episode here. This is exciting, though. This has been a, a really fun uh, episode. This is definitely uh, my favorite so far. So hopefully uh, you're all enjoying it as well. And there'll be a link, of course, in the description to the next episode once it's online, of course. No time traveling to get it before it's online. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this episode here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!